guys. It's day 47 quarantine cuisine and we're making shrimp a la plancha. Yes. Oh my God. We have these beautiful head on shrimp that we got from Louisiana and they're so beautiful. And I just have them lined up here like little good soldiers. And I cleaned these already, but I'm going to clean these two for you so you can see. Um, and you could cook them just like this if you like, and you could fry them like this. And people like to eat the legs and they like to eat the shells. But today, um, I'm going to take the shell off. I'm going to leave the little tip at the end, the little tail on. And it's really easy to get it off. It just comes off pretty naturally. Um, I'm just going to take it all the way off. But I'm leaving the head on just for presentation because I think it's really beautiful. I'm taking off all the legs, okay? So that's what we have. I'll do the same thing to this one. And I'm saving these shells because um, shrimp shells make a really delicious seafood stock. So even the smallest amount of shells can make a great stock. Or you could freeze these in a little Ziploc and um, until you get more. But just this alone with some onions, white wine, lemon, peppercorns, and water, even a little tomato paste will make a great stock. Okay, so we'll set that aside. And then the only thing we need to do is just um, take a knife and just go down very gently into the shrimp and you just remove that intestinal tract. See that? And just scrape it out with a knife very gently. Okay. And we'll do that again to this one. Sometimes it's black, sometimes it's white. This one's white. Okay, so that's out. So that's clean. We're ready to go. Okay, put this aside. Okay, so we have those lined up. Wow, they look beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. Really I'm are. so excited. Okay, so this is such a simple recipe. I have my new ish. La Crusade um, pan that I love with the flat side and the, um, the grill side. So it's perfect for this recipe. So the first thing I wanna do is add some olive oil to the shrimp, get them nice and coated. Now I'm using a good amount of olive oil and let me tell you why. Because not only are we gonna cook the shrimp in this olive oil, but this olive oil and the seasoning that we are doing in the olive oil, salt and pepper, um, are gonna become a dipping sauce for our crusty bread. So we wanna have enough oil so that we have a nice sauce. Okay, so a really good amount of black pepper. Also, we're using smoked paprika, which is a little bit of nice heat in there. Okay, a beautiful color. And then we're going to add some sliced garlic. And you could do this in advance and marinate the shrimp in this and it would be even better. Unfortunately, I didn't do that because we were running around today and I was working and we're busy, but it's fine. Okay, so we have, should we do one more garlic? Yeah, yeah why not? because the garlic is also going to season our oil, right? So we'll have like a nice garlic oil for dipping our bread. Okay, so I'm just taking off the skin. So this is, just, you know, a t my take on the Spanish um, tapas dish. Um, shrimp a la plancha, right? Like you get it at tapas bars. Okay, so we're adding a little bit more oil to this. Just get all of those flavors working together, okay? Mm -hmm. And then, um, let me just go behind you for a second part, sorry. It's okay. I, I didn't the, have all my meat on cloth. I get another view here. We're going to add some um, lemon zest to this, which is going to be really fragrant, really beautiful color. Okay. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Okay. So now let's cut this lemon in half. And we're going to squeeze some lemon on there. Wow. You want a nice amount of lemon. But I'm just going to take off one slice for garnish later. And then we'll squeeze the rest of this on here. Okay, let me just get a paper towel. With the hands. And look. Okay. Doesn't that look yummy? I mean, it's so simple. I'm sure you have all these ingredients in your house. Um, you know, so you just get the shrimp and, um, you know, garlic and lemon and olive oil and salt and pepper and a little smoked paprika and call it a day. Okay, so we're going to go over to our plancha. Okay. Okay. So we just want to move these around a little bit. Yeah, and that is smoking hot, okay? last minute decision. Since we're doing it on the plancha, the flat pan, I'm actually going to simmer this over here separately because we want that oil in our final dish. Okay. Uh -huh. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. I add a little more salt to the top of that. And they don't need long at all. They probably need like two minutes on each side. So let's come back over here while those are cooking. Bye. Thanks, Carp. Thank you kindly. Okay. We're just going to get a little organized. So those are going to cook. And I want to garnish this with our lemon and some chopped parsley. So we'll just do a little bit. This is not a lot, not, not gonna go crazy. Just a little chopped parsley. Okay, so we got that. bread and we're going to cut this into some nice slices. I'm going to put these on the grill. Okay. So let's go back over here. over there, but that's okay. Everyone's invited to this party. Okay? Okay. So now, what I want to do is take some olive oil spray and put it on this end. And we're going to grill this bread. And then we'll spray the top. What do you think, Mark? It looks so good. Add a little bit more salt to this oil that we're heating up. And I'm gonna add a little bit of parsley to that also. Just for flavor, okay? Because you're gonna see, 
it's going to be, we're going to plate it in here and we're going to plate it in this dish so that we have like a little bit of a pool of that oil on the bottom and we're going to eat the shrimp and you know, you kind of do this with your hands. It's a finger food, um, you can use a fork if you want, but we want to do that and then dip the bread in what's left in the bottom. It's going to be so good. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of salt to this bread. Let's see how it looks. Yep. You gotta love this grill. This is two in one. How fun. Super fun. Okay, just about there. So yeah, I'm you know, I'm boiling this because obviously we put raw shrimp in the oil, right? So I can't just put that marinade in here without cooking it. And what I realized is because I'm using this pan, if I poured all that oil in there it would be hard for me to get it out and I don't want to lose it because that's the whole point. We want it dip. So I'm just bringing it to a boil and then it'll be fine. Yeah, we're eating well this week, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this has come to a boil. So I'm actually gonna just pour this, leave this over here for one sec. Let me get the rest of this shrimp out. Let me turn this off because this is going to cook our shrimp just a little bit more. Here, let me put this this way so you can see. what we're having for dinner guys you can do it you can do this that was so easy I know you can you don't have to have the head on shrimp just use regular shrimp or use lobster or use scallops you just you can do it try it okay cook with me Wow hey guys it's day 47 we're on a seafood festival quarantine cuisine we're making soft shell crabs with lemon butter and capers this is like a classic soft shell crab recipe no more fried stuff we're going we're going for the good stuff now okay so I have my crabs they're cleaned I show you how to clean them before you take the apron off you take the gills out you rinse them now I have them sitting in some milk and I have a little bit of wonder flour right here so to my wonder flour I want to season it just a bit and I have a cast iron pan heating smoking hot okay so we've got some nice ground black pepper and some salt and you know what we're going to add a little bit of creole seasoning just for fun because they're from um louisiana okay we don't want them too spicy okay yeah why not okay so we're going to mix that around a little bit and just simply let these drain we're just going to do like a very light coating of this Wonder Flour, which is a super, super fine flour. Let me add my oil in here. And you know, when you cook soft shell crabs, sometimes they spit out some liquid and um, it could burn you. So just be careful. Okay, Mark. Yeah. Okay, we got that. 
there. Just a light coating, okay? Just to give it a little bit of a crispness. Okay, so you can get rid of this. Okay, so this is a super simple recipe. We have lemons, we have butter, we have parsley, we have capers, and we have Worcestershire sauce. And you see this, um, this kind of recipe a lot with seafood because it just pairs really, really well. So we're getting a nice, we'll turn this up a little bit. These are going to cook pretty fast. We just want a nice golden color on there. And once we turn them over, we're going to start to make the sauce. But I want them to get a little bit crispy first. Look at that. Beautiful. So quick. They already have great flavor. They were soaking in milk. Um, we put a little cajun spice, a little salt and pepper. Okay, so to that now, I want to add a little bit more oil. Okay. I'm going to add our butter. I'm going to turn down my flame just a bit. I'm going to squeeze lemon over the top. Out of there. And what's so nice about seafood is it cooks so quickly, right? So, you know, as long as you have the product in, in the house, you get home from work, you put this on the stove, it's like le less than five minutes. Okay, so we've got this nice butter sauce, and that wonder flour um, also helps stick in our sauce, right? So I'm just turning these over so that they can both um, get some action on both sides. I'm adding a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, maybe like two tablespoons, right? Okay. And then we're gonna add some capers. I mean, capers, butter, lemon, Worcestershire, what's better than that? Seriously, right? I mean, how good does that look? We're letting that come to a boil, and we'll add some parsley with nice freshness. What do you think, Parks? I think it looks amazing. It looks pretty amazing, right? Yeah, it looks really good. Cool. Top. Oh my god. It really, really looks amazing. I'm super excited. Great over rice, be delicious over a little pasta with some roasted potatoes. Wow. A little parsley on the top. That's it, guys. Yeah, so quick. Social crab with capers, lemon, butter, and parsley. You can do it. You can do it, okay? <laughs> do it for me. I want to see you do it. <laughs>